In our previous video, we had put on the first layers of our spiral wound tube. Now we're going to complete the construction in this video. So thanks for watching. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. All right, so now the second layer, we're going to do it very similar. Um, this time, we're going, to, we're going to do it in the same direction, but we want to overlap the spiral from the first one. So now this one, um, I want, if I can, to try to get the, uh, so that there's no overlap on the spiral. So you can see. Right, uh, this is really hard to see with this paper color, but I don't have any overlap right there. So what I'm going to do here on this time is I'm going to leave this exposed and then put glue on it. And I'm also going to put glue on the on the tube. It's on the previous layer. I'm going to wrap it around. And then I'm going to unwind this that doesn't have glue on it up until the point where I can start to see some glue. And paint that with the glue. You know, this one I actually have a gap. <laughs> But it's okay, because we're going to put one more layer on top of this. Again, you want to push it down really tight. Work out any air bubbles so that we have a nice smooth surface without any lumps in it. And this paper, it's sucking up the liquid pretty fast, which is why you can also put a little bit of glue on the outside of this side, on the outside of the tube you've already done. Now, if your, your strips of paper aren't long enough, um, say this strip of paper stopped right there, um, I would just get another strip and then just butt it right up against it and then just restart the wrapping process. Because what you're, you're trying to get is consistent thickness. Okay, so that's two wraps of paper so far. And again, I just cut it right there. And, you know, and this can be reused. You know, I could start the next layer and then splice on the, you know, to continue it on. And we're just going to cut this off. Like that. And you can also roll it on the table to try to work out any uh, bubbles underneath. Make sure everything is down really tight. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I got a little bit of um, fold right there in the paper, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay, so that's two wraps. Um, at this point, you, mo you can probably start checking your tube to see how close you are. So this is sliding in a little too easy right yet, so I'm going to go one more layer. Like before, um, this is the end that we started. Um, that and then I'm going to let that one flop open. Try to hold that down. So
So the camera turned off, uh, but I'll continue where I left off. So I had wrapped that around there. And now I'll start putting glue on this side. And I'll also start painting where it will overlap. Almost spilled all of the glue. Spilled a little. Okay, uh, you'll notice that I put my paintbrush in just my bucket of water over here um, because I do want to clean that out later um, so it doesn't glue all the bristles together. <laughs> all right, so one more final thing here. Get a little water, clean off this table. Get all the glue off of it. So I'll roll this and flatten it out, make it nice and even, push down any edges. And again, I'll cut off this, make it nice and even. Doesn't really matter, we're going to trim that off anyway. Okay, you can see my layers of wax paper plus the layers of paper. Same thing on this side. This one, put a little bit of glue right there, kind of smash that down. All right, so now test fit it again. Okay, so that's, that's a really nice fit right there. And so you'll just keep adding layers until you get it to the fit that you want. Um, now it's time to just let the glue dry and one of the things that you'll notice is that the glue is going to shrink a little bit and it's going to pull everything really tight. Um, so, it, you know, right now the mandrel is coming out really easy. Uh, once that glue dries, it's going to tighten down really hard um, and it's going to be harder to get the mandrel out. Um, this is one of the tubes that I made. Uh, previous to this video and I actually pulled it off pr um, before the glue was dried just like this and let it dry that way but I found that it's better to let it dry on the mandrel uh, because then it doesn't turn out so lumpy um, and then it's lumpy on the inside as well because everything's kind of shrinking inside of there so we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and remove it trim up the ends and we'll have our length of tube coupler. At this point the tube is dry and it's time to remove it from the mandrel and actually this is probably the hardest part because what happens is the glue shrinks and it pulls everything really tight. So um, I'm going to cut the ends off to try to make it a little easier. So I'm going to look down inside and then just go around the edge. There. And then this edge, this one's a little different because of the way my mandrel is. Alright, 
So now I'm going to try to push it. Oh, it worked. And it, sometimes it helps to kind of push. There we go. Okay, now I got something to grab and then you can twist to get it off the mandrel, just like that. And now um, it's just a matter of peeling out the wax paper on the inside. And that comes out pretty easy. So I just got this uh, gripper here, kind of get it started. Get it from both ends if I can find the edge. Okay, so there's my tube, and it looks really nice. Um, just one final check, and it fits nicely in the tube. It's a little loose, uh, but for my purposes, I think that's great. Um, so this one, um, a little bit of sanding will probably take care of any bumps and any overlap on the paper. If you want to trim the edge of the tube, um, you can put it back on the mandrel and then trim it off uh, using that edge just like what I just showed you. Um, so you can cut it to any length you want. So when we started, you know, we wanted to make a tube that was twice as long and we easily got it twice as long. We got extra room to play with. Um, so that is how you make a spiral wound tube. Um, and once you make one, you're really going to appreciate the ones that are commercially made because the quality is better um, and it's a lot less effort. Um, so my name is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, may all your rockets fly straight and true.